So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with SEO using what's known as a content gap analysis. Now, this is a fancy way of saying what your competitors have that you don't have. So we're gonna be comparing what your competitors' content and what their topics are, and we're gonna be comparing it to what you have. Now, if you don't have anything and you're starting from scratch, then what you need to do is you just need to analyze their content from, from out of the gate. But if you already built something and you're looking to see where you're missing some, some content or where you're missing some topics, this is a great way of doing it. It's super, super easy. And the best part about it is you don't have to have any real expensive tools or anything like that. We're gonna be using ChatGPT. All you need is ChatGPT Plus, and you can tap into one of my custom GPTs. Now, I will include a link somewhere on this video, maybe pinned in the comments or descriptions, wherever you're watching this from you will be able to find access to this custom GPT so that way you can use it for your own business. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Derek Pierce. I've been doing SEO for the better part of 20 years. So I hope you enjoy this tool. So let's go ahead, let's dive in. I'm gonna show you how it works. All right, so you can see we are using the Content Gap Assistant. This is my custom GPT. The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to incognito mode and you wanna identify your competitors. You just do simple searches for the keywords that you want to target and you wanna find one of the top results for that particular keyword. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna analyze their sitemap. Now, I've already done that for the sake of time and this is the site that we're gonna be looking at. So anytime you wanna do this, you just go to the domain that you're wanting to, to analyze and you just go at the end of it and you just type in sitemap.xml and this is gonna up, pull up their sitemap. And you can see this is the sitemap index. Now there's several different ones. You've got the post sitemap and the page sitemap. Usually that's where all the content is going to be primarily. Sometimes you will see multiple posts and page sitemaps, but if you just click on this page sitemap, you can see they've published some stuff as pages. It looks like this is you know more of your, your, your framework of your site, like, you know, your privacy pages, your clients, your thank you pages and that sort of stuff. But if we go back here to the post site map, you'll see this is a lot of the content that we would be wanting to know, you know, how, what, what they have that we don't have. So what I'm going to do is once I find this, I'm just going to select all of this, select the whole sheet, and I'm just going to copy all of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here to the Content Gap Assistant and we're going to click Get Started. And this is going to walk you through the process. It just says, hey, you know, here's what a sitemap is and here's where you can find it. You don't want to put in the URL. You're wanting to put in that entire code off of the sitemap like I just copied. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to hit Enter. And now it's going to say, hey, now we need your sitemap. So the way you find your sitemap is the exact same way. You wanna to go to your website. So in this case, I've done the exact same thing here. This is just a test site that I'm using. So we go to sitemap.xml and you will see it pulls up again, two sitemaps. You got the post sitemap and the page sitemap. We're gonna to go to post and we're gonna see what all I have got published here. So I'm just gonna hit control A and I'm gonna copy all of these. And then we're going to come in here and we're gonna paste this as our own. And then what is gonna happen, this is going to run through and compare all of the content and the topics, and it's gonna spit these out of what the topics look like that you don't have, so you will know how to proceed from there with your content plan of attack. Now, from what, from what I do here, you can copy these and you can plug them into your AI writer and uh, start cranking out some content. So give this just a second here and you will see this run, this will finish run and you know exactly what content your competitor has that you don't have. And so that way you can hit the ground running. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy this tool. Um, from here, like I said, I would take this and I would just copy these keywords from here and plug them into your favorite AI writer. Uh, but this gives you a good idea as to the topics that you are missing out on. So again, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, give it a share, whatever you do on the platform that you're on. I appreciate it. Take care and we'll see you real soon.